We've got more on this story because the people of Parkland, Florida, are finding strength in each other after the staggering loss from the third deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. More than a thousand people held a candlelight vigil last night to remember the 17 people shot dead at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. We now know the names of all of the people who died. 14 were students, three were staff members killed while trying to save others. One of those students, 17-year-old Nick Dwart, planned to join the University of Indianapolis swim team next fall. Another, 15-year-old Peter Wang, he was seen holding a door open so others could escape, and he was shot. Adriana Diaz is in Parkland with more stories of people lost in this horrible tragedy. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. We were here last night and it was just so moving. There was a sea of candlelights being held by more than a thousand people and the grief was palpable and it escalated when the father of the victim, one of the victims, took the stage. That's when you heard people in the crowd start crying. I don't know what I do next. My wife is home. We are broken. Fred Gutenberg bared his soul to a tearful crowd during a candlelight vigil Thursday night. His daughter, Jamie, was one of the victims. This is impossible. My girl, my 14-year-old baby, I sent her to school yesterday. She was supposed to be safe. Earlier in the day, mourners released 17 balloons in memories of those killed, including geography teacher Scott Beagle. He was engaged to be married and was killed trying to keep the gunman out of a classroom. He basically saved my life. If it wasn't for him, I might not be here today. And he will forever be in my heart and forever be my hero. Another hero, assistant football coach Aaron Feiss. Senior Taylor Morales wasn't surprised to hear he shielded students from gunfire. He was always putting others first. So the fact that I heard that he used his body to protect others, that sounds like something he would 100% do without hesitation. Also among the victims, senior Joaquin Oliver. He was born in Venezuela and became a U.S. citizen just last year. 14-year-old Elena Petty helped victims of Hurricane Irma rebuild. And freshman Gina Montalto volunteered as a friend for kids with special needs. What kind of girl was Gina? She was the sweetest person I knew. I never heard her say one bad thing about anyone. No one in the school that died deserved this. I want my friends back. I want the victims back. I want all the, the innocent people that are scarred from this. I want their innocence back. Late last night, we spoke off camera to the fiance of that teacher who died saving students, Scott Beagle. She said that they were about to start planning their wedding and that he'd only started working at this school just this year. She said he was the type of teacher who could make students believe in themselves. Nora. We love teachers like that. Adriana, thank you so much.